Hey guys, how's it going? Ricky here from Most Valuable Podcast, here to continue our preseason top 25 in the world of college football. This video, number 20, the Stanford Cardinal. And last year, an interesting season for Stanford. The first year under Coach David Shaw that the team did win 11 games. They went 8-5 and five last season, and that was mostly due to the fact that their offense wasn't that good. Three of their losses, they lost by less than three points, by three points or less. Wow. So if you look at it, if they win those games, they're an 11-win team. And the offense, to me, is the biggest question mark because you got senior quarterback Kevin Hogan. Can he be the senior leader that Stanford fans want him to be? He failed to produce a 1,000-yard rusher for the first time. That is going to be on the hands of sophomore running back Christian McCaffrey. So you got a senior quarterback who, to me, hasn't lived up to what fans want him to be. You have a sophomore running back that is going to have a lot of burden on him to be a major impact this season. And to me, I just feel like if those teams or those players can produce, Hogan and McCaffrey for sure, then Stanford's going to be okay. Defensively, they're one of the best last season, and they were as dominant as ever. They led the Pac-12 in total defense, giving up only 282, around 282 yards per game, and they also allowed more than 100 fewer yards per game than the league's number two defense in Utah. And, I mean, to me, this defensive unit is going to be led by its linebackers, especially outside linebackers, Kevin Anderson and Peter Kalambayi. And this season in a nutshell, other teams I've talked about, it's like, oh, well, if the defense can just hold its own. No, this team is going to be led defensively. The defense is going to be just as good this year as they were last year. The big question mark to me is can guys like Kevin Hogan, can guys like sophomore running back Christian McCaff, McCaffrey, or McCaffrey do enough to win games for the Cardinal? I think you guys may, you may get back to 11 wins, but let's see. Let's look at this schedule. Let's look at it. And you start off week one against Northwestern. If you guys are new to our preseason top 25s, you're new to the primetime podcast. I'm an Illinois guy. I like my fighting Illini. That means I hate the Northwestern Wildcats. Stanford with the win. Pat Fitzgerald, you got nothing on David Shaw. Northwestern loses. Game two, Central Florida. Blake Bortles ain't playing there last time I checked. Central Florida loses to the Stanford Cardinals. That's two games right now. You are now nine wins away from getting back to the 11 victory mark. However, your third game on on Saturday, September 19th, isn't going to bode well. Your first Pac-12 game is against the USC Trojans at USC. Trojans win this one on ABC. That kind of rhymed. But yeah, I just I feel like the Trojans are going to come back to Providence this year and you guys will lose that game. You'll bounce back at Oregon State, though. You'll get that W. However, you will lose your first conference home game the next week against the Arizona Wildcats. So right now, sitting at three and two, you're gonna the next few games, you're gonna get some confidence back. UCLA, Stanford, that one will be a close one, but Stanford should win. Then you have Washington's a W, Washington State's a W, Colorado's a W. So you're at seven wins right now. Then you come home, you play the Ducks. Ducks don't have Mariota. I'm sorry, it doesn't matter. Ducks don't need Mariota. They beat Stanford. Then you play Cal, you beat Cal. You play Notre Dame. Can you beat Notre Dame? This may be a close one. However, I will give it to the Cardinal. And if my math serves me correctly, it's only nine wins. So... You're not getting back to that 11-win mark. You're only going to nine wins, 
And to me, I kind of think that you guys don't make the Pac-12 title game either, only because I feel like the Ducks are going to be just this much better in the records than you. However, Stanford will go to a nice bowl game. We'll probably win that bowl game, finish out at 10 wins overall on the season. So Stanford gets back to double-digit wins. They will not get 11 wins this season, in my opinion. You guys tell me, though, down below what you think of our number 20 team on the on the preseason top 25, Stanford. Am I crazy for thinking they won't win the Pac-12 North and that I'm still giving it to Oregon? Are you against me that, hey, you know what, Ricky, they are going to win 11 games. I don't know what you're talking about. Let me know down below in the comment section. You can follow me on Twitter at Ricky Widmer. You can follow Most Valuable Podcast at Most Valuable Pod. Click right up here over my shoulder to check out our Pac-12 podcast preview on the Primetime Podcast where me and Brandon previewed the entire Pac-12. I want to thank you guys for checking out this video. And as always, have a good day, everybody. Hey guys, like the video? Then hit that subscribe button. But if you liked it even more, you should check out our Patreon page. We have a lot of different rewards and goals for those of you who would love to support us. So make sure to click that link down in the description to check out those pretty kick-ass rewards.